Welcome back to the channel guys, Kerry Gray here in the studio at Junalut Resort. In this video, I'm gonna give you one of my favorite exercises to get you moving more athletically through the golf swing, give you more power, give you more distance, and upgrade the quality of your ball striking. Let's get into it. Now, one of the biggest challenges about golf, it is an athletic sport played from a stationary position. Most other sports, the ball's coming towards you, so then you can rely on your reactions to get the job done. However, in golf, the thing is just sitting on the ground looking at you. So it's very easy to get caught up in such a way in your setup and the takeaway in which you're not moving as athletically or as dynamically as you possibly can. And therefore, you're gonna struggle with your distance, your accuracy, and also your consistency of being able to hit a shot in any situation if you're not moving in a way which is conducive to an athletic motion. So for most players, when they set up to the golf ball, they'll begin to make a backswing by using a lot of movement of their arms, their hands, then finally turning the body. But there's not enough of what we call ground reaction force. And that's how we start the backswing, that's how we create power, is by how much we actually push into the ground throughout the golf swing. So a complex subject made simple is that there's two ways to create speed in the golf swing. There's the way that we move our body and then also the way that we move our pressure between our feet. So in this video, I'm going to show you simply just a great exercise to use your pressure within your feet to allow your body to rotate better, to create more speed, power and distance. So let's talk about a typical error that I see players make. Well, they'll set up to a golf ball, but for a lot of players, they simply just pull the arms around their body. And effectively, they start the backswing by a movement of their body parts rather than a shifting of pressure within their feet. Now, if you were gonna play any other sport, and let's say you're reacting to a certain situation, so for example, in tennis, the ball's coming towards you, subconsciously, what you would do is you would start to react to the object flying towards you in such a way in which you would start to begin to move your feet to kind of prepare yourself to then make a motion. So what we tend to see with players is they'll have a lot of movement between their feet. And when they do so, they're shifting their pressure between their left foot and their right foot, and then that allows and facilitates the body to rotate freely throughout the motion and not get stuck in such a way where they're getting all cramped and bunched up all throughout their swing. So if I was playing tennis, for example, and the ball's coming towards me, as the ball was flying towards me, what I'd do is I'd start with my weight on my front foot, I would shift my pressure to my back foot, that would allow my body to rotate, I would then recenter back towards where I wanna send the ball, and then send it in the direction that I was looking. So in golf, in a simplistic fashion, it's very similar. What we wanna see when we take the golf club off the golf ball is a pressure shift into our trail foot. And what we're trying to do when we do this is we're trying to create a big spike of pressure down into the ground before we even really begin to move our club off the golf ball. So a lot of these little movements you'll see high level golfers do and it makes it look effortless. If you look at the average recreational golfer on the range, it's very much the opposite. A lot of pulling and dragging of the golf club. So if you feel like this is something that you're struggling with, I've got a great exercise for you today using just a simple step drill, which is gonna allow you to feel that your pressure is shifting between your feet and feel that your body is able to then openly rotate throughout the motion and not be inhibited by tension because you're trying to control the swing too much and get that golf club back on the ball. We're gonna get you moving your body better by moving your pressure better, and this is one of my favorite drills to do so. Okay, so let's talk about how it works. From the address position, if we were set up to a golf ball in front of us, all we're gonna do from here is we're gonna set up into our normal stance. Now from there, all I want you to do is narrow your stance slightly. From here, you're gonna lift the golf club above the ball and forward of the golf ball in this position. From this spot here, what we're gonna do before we move the golf club back, we're gonna take a tiny step with our back foot, the right foot for the right hander, in which that's gonna encourage the club to move away. Now, when you make your step, only do a small one. We're not looking for a great huge stride across to the right hand side, because that would not simulate really what you're trying to look for and achieve when you're hitting a golf ball. So from the setup position, we're gonna narrow our stance a little bit. You're gonna move the golf club in front of the golf ball. You're gonna step a little bit to the right. Now, as this golf club is swinging back, what I want you to feel is that you put a lot of pressure into that trail foot, but then turn your body and recenter back towards the target. This will give your swing that effortless flow look that you see the pros doing. 
So in the address position, club in front, little step back and we're swinging our body back because we've shifted our pressure. We've got a lot more room and rotation and freedom to do so. And then as our lead arm gets to this parallel position in the backswing, we're gonna take a little step forward. So you're gonna combine the steps from the back foot to the right foot to really initiate both the backswing and then both the transition and the downswing by using your stepping first before the body moves. So it's gonna look like this from address, club in front, we're going to step, swing, step, swing. Let's do that again. Narrow stance, club in front, step, swing, step, swing. Now, the more you do it, the more of a feeling you'll get as doing so, and you'll feel a lot of freedom within your body. It may feel like you're rotating a heck of a lot more than you ever have before. So let's put it into action. So I'm gonna hit it down into the range over there. We're gonna set up in our normal posture. I just got my little eight iron here. We're gonna take a smaller stance. We're gonna lift the club up and in front. Step, swing, step, swing. And it really feels like a lot of freedom to be able to move and get that golf club returning through the impact zone without a conscious hit of the golf ball. Now exercises like this, I absolutely love them. You can use this at any stage of golf that you're playing from beginner all the way to professional. A lot of the clients that come in, they do get to a point where sometimes they simply just get stuck over the golf ball. And this is a fantastic exercise to help you get out of that funk. So let's do it once more. Taking our setup, slightly bringing our feet in, moving the club in front. We're gonna start our backswing by step, swing, step, swing. Once again, straight down the center of the fairway. Felt really good off the club face and didn't really feel like I had to exert a lot of force with my arms to get the job done. So if you're feeling like you're lacking rotation in the golf swing, you're feeling like you're really not moving as efficiently as you can and you don't feel athletic, well, this is a great exercise for you. No matter what level of golf, once again, I would suggest that you occasionally do this. If you're teeing off the grass, start off with a small tee, put your ball on top. If you're hitting off the mat, you can just go straight ahead and do it. And do this for about five or so swings and after you've done that, just make a normal golf swing. Feel the difference, feel how you're shifting your pressure between your feet and how your body moves as a result. And I'm sure it will feel completely different and even more athletic than it ever has before. So I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please go down below, click subscribe, click that little bell so you get notified of all my upcoming videos. But until next time, I'm Kerry Gray. Thanks for watching.